In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the data cube to identify some quick win opportunities on our website. Specifically, we're going to look at how we can create a striking distance filter to identify the low hanging fruit and those quick win opportunities. To begin, go to the data cube, search your website and click on the total number of organic keywords. After doing that, we want to click on our add filter button and we're going to add a few filters starting with blended rank better than 20. So we want to look at results that are already on those first two pages of the search engine results page. We're going to add an additional filter for blended rank worse than four. We know that 70% plus of the clicks go to the first four results on the search engine results page. Whereas by the time you're down in position number 10, the last result on the first page, you're getting about half a percent of the search volume for that keyword. So it's really important that we not only get onto the first page, but we get into those top couple of results that are driving the majority of traffic. If we're in this realm of five through 19, we're getting a lot of, of traction with Google, but we're not necessarily driving a whole lot of traffic from these keywords as of right now. So we could potentially put in a little bit of work for a whole lot of benefit. In addition to my two blended rank filters, I'm also gonna try and filter out some of my branded terms by saying keyword does not contain under and adding another one for keyword does not contain armor. If you've never done a striking distance filter before, you may wanna hold off and wait until seeing the results before adding the branded filters. And if you have too many branded terms, you can help uh, by adding these filters in after the fact. Keep in mind that we also want to be careful with these filters as well. If I am saying keyword does not contain under, I'm potentially also filtering out stuff that is not branded terms such as underwear or undershirt, which are two products that they sell. So that's something to keep in mind with your filters as well. I can add all of those and it takes my few hundred thousand results down to 25,000 that are fitting the description of the filters that I've added. I can then scroll down to the bottom of my page and take a look at all the keywords. What I would recommend doing from here is looking down your list and tracking keywords that are at the intersection of, I have good content for this and want to rank better for it, and it has good search volume. What we're ultimately going to do is look for themes among the keywords to be able to figure out what do we want to work on as a project. And if we're going down the list and add all of these to a group, we can go back and look at that group after the fact and see, do we have common themes among these keywords? So maybe I look through the list and say, hey, there's a lot of basketball related content on here. Maybe I should take that as my next project. So to do that, simply work down the list from the top, identify the keywords that you wanna track and hit track. From there, you wanna to add to a striking distance group. I already have one set up, so I'm gonna click the existing group button. But if you don't, you would click the new group. Then you'd come down, find your striking distance group, and hit save. After the fact, I can then go back and go into settings keywords or keyword reporting and identify uh, those various themes and what keywords are in that group to identify which projects I want to work on next.